Can I get any hang time with this thing? Oh no! Welcome back to episode 5 of our Deliver Us The Moon gameplay walkthrough series. Leading up to this point, we have done so much. We are finally on the moon. Uh, we're not actually on the moon surface yet. We're still in the Copernicus hub, but we just opened up the doors to the lunar rover bay area, vehicle bay area. So now we're finally about to go into the moon. I'm pretty excited. And I hope you guys are too. Let's jump into it. So I'm picking up exactly where I left off from last game. Um, there's no loading screen this time, but again, with the reminder about the uh, giveaway, 500, 500 subscribers. Giving away Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and Xbox Live combined. Uh, yeah, one easy code. So please uh, subscribe and and uh, hit that bell so that way you can be notified when that video posts. But let's jump into it. So we went around a little bit in the last episode and looked at all these bays. I'm not sure what we need to do, but I am going to enter this bad boy now because I'm excited. Oh, sh I do actually get to drive this. Accelerate. This thing is cool. Hello? Let me out. Hello? Oh gosh, okay. I knew I knew it was too good to be true. You're not just gonna hop in this bad boy and run out of here. Alright, let me see if there's anything over here I need to get into. See, there's like elevators everywhere. Here's parts. Let's go back over here. I wanna see what's up here. The monorail station, what? Whoa. Interesting. They like a, oh, this was takes you to like the, the Hyugens and the Tombow areas. I get it now. Because remember there's like blue lines going on, on the map leading there. So it's like a little subway system. Yeah, here they are. Little subways. Shoot, I always forget about the flashlight. My bad. Just, just slap me if I, you technically can't slap me, but just yell at me. Just yell at me every time I forget my flashlight. Uh, yep, see Tombow. Oh, wait. Okay, this one's going to Tombow. Oh, we were at Tombow. I was like, no, we're not. Okay, there's nothing up here, though. How do I get out these doors? What was that? Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, no, 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 I'm not. I think it, my tires would be on that thing. Go. Yep, that's right. I was an idiot. Of course. <laughs> God, I am so stupid when playing this game. All right. I just need some weight. We just need some weight to verify that we are where we were. Oh my God, I don't like that red alarm. Oh, it's... Oh. Look at that. Oh, yes. Copernicus Crater, 2059. Oh, there's no, the sound is so weird. They're trying to make it like silent, like on the moon, for real? Messing with my ears. This is so cool. And they really got the lighting right. Oh, wait, that's a quick handbrake. How do I break? Oh. No! Oh god! No! No! Get back in! Okay, don't press X. Don't press X. Get some jumps with this bad boy. Here we go, here we go. Get some hang time. What happens if I hit this? Oh, nothing. Can I get any hang time with this thing? Oh no! Stay, stay, flip, flip, flip. Oh, yes, look at that. Let's see if we can hit some jumps. Yo, I just rolled this thing over on the moon and it was like nothing. What happens here? No, stay alive! All right, let's just go to our event. We have too much fun in this thing. Let's just get to our adventure. 
Use your power. Oh, it's like before I got up. You know, what? let's back up into it. Go the old Japanese style. Haha, <laughs> I did it. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't even go in there. Get out, get out, get out, go, 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 go. I have two minutes, 55 seconds. Yo, airlock, what? Hello? Oh my gosh. I like that timer on the back of my backpack, that's pretty cool. It gave me two and a half minutes to open the airlock. Oh, it's probably because later on the, in the game I'll need to actually do go longer. Okay, I need to realign the pillar, right? Yes. Gotta realign the pillar. Oh, ASC. Need you, buddy. Climb this. Right? Another airlock. Let's see what for. Um. I really like the quietness they do. Oh, you like bounce. That's. It's not as realistic as I thought it would be, but it's still cool. I thought they bounce a lot more. Two and a half, two minutes and thirty nine seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, cool. I need more, which I don't right now. I don't need more oxygen. Of course, they make me go around the whole entire thing, and it's the longest ladder in the world. Okay, let's go over here. This is so cool. Space. Climb this one. Where is this bad boy? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, this is you? Oh, cool. I gotta sit in it. Whoa. It's pretty nifty. Oh, okay. Interact with this thing. Where I gotta realign it to? Not telling me anything. Oh, I see. The little red square. Oh. Am I shooting power to the elevator? Is that what's going on? Am I reducing it? So to speak? Oh, that's cool. Just put me right back here. That's awesome. I don't gotta climb all of that. There's. Alright. Let's get in our bad boy and go. So we're not really gonna be doing much on the moon's surface. Which makes sense because, like, there's nothing out here. So we're not really gonna have too many missions. Actually walking around the moon, doing, like, digging up fossils and whatever. Fossils. Digging up meteorites and whatever. That wouldn't be interesting though. Because in 2055, whenever this game takes place, you know, if we ever have all this established on the moon, you would think we have enough resources to know what we're doing. Like, moon wise. Like, we would know what the moon is made of in order to build on it. But realistically, personal opinion, I don't see this happening. If we do get all this colonization type stuff on the moon for at least, I don't know, hundred, couple hundred years, like there's no way. Oh god, oh god, coming a little hot. See, see how smart I backed my car up. I just drove right off last time. Right again, and over my wheels. Nice. Okay. Get back over here. Press this button. Nice. Okay, this time I'm gonna need you, buddy. Where you at? Where are you, Roly Poly? Oh my god, there you are. You scared me, dude. Go off like that, alright? I can't lose you. I wonder if that... 
that button right there does that ASC button. All right, let's do number two. Again, my flashlight. Why does it keep turning off though? Like if I want my flashlight on, keep it on. Oh, if you run, you like really glide. I look super unrealistic. Oh no. I don't think I could be hit by this. Probably gonna blow me off. Of course, they would give me some sort of traps. Look at that first time through. You know, just an experienced gamer is all. I know a trap when I see one. Okay, this one doesn't have a second flight of stairs. Nice. Oh, cool. So this recharges my oxygen. I was wondering why I was just able to chill in here. So I don't want to do that. All right, let's try number two. I think it's this way, right? No, definitely the other way. See the red and the... I don't know why I'm pointing like you guys can't see. The red in that top left section, I think it means it that way. And of course, I was wrong. It meant to go the other way. Oh no, I was right here. Why am I pointing it towards this one? Think, McFly, think. That's like Star Wars, like the uh, Death Star. Destroy Alderaan. Alright, let's get back in my car. Oh, no. Never mind. What happened? What did it say? Was it a station power online? Was that was different? Katuna, is that you out there? God, I hope that's you. Claire, hello. Hi. Oh, what happened at Pearson? I thought you were... But just now, we detected activity in the MPT network. We haven't seen that in years. It seems to have been a local power transmission, isolated from the power source at the combo facility. Something must be wrong at the reactor there. Okay. The combo isn't close, though. Traveling by foot would be suicide. Perhaps you can find another means of transportation. I can. It's called the monorail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scary. You know what that was? That was the evil droid things taking over. I'm calling it. Get back in here. God, I gotta line up quickly. Look at that. Game pass quest. Let's line up properly this time. There we go. Yes? Oh, it's closing the door behind me. Oh, whoa, whoa, it like glitched out. Okay. This is where I gotta figure out how to get this monorail to work, though. Let me try taking this elevator up. Oh wait, the monorail. Flashlight again, come on, get with the program. All right, the monorail's on this side. Yes, I wanna go to Tombo. Or like, I get in the monorail. Walk up here. Airlock right here, though. Hmm. So I gotta get in there, but how? Reset the power in Moon Hub. My gosh. Okay. Read the damn instructions, dude. That's me. More to this little computer right here. Uh, 
diagnose. Copernicus Moo Hub transmitter receiver online. Heck yeah. Connection to MP network, MPT network not established. Why? Okay, the reactor. We know that. Diagnose MPT at Tombow Reactor Facility. Monorail to the Tombow Reactor offline. Power systems. Gotta click the X again. No. Hey, that thing wasn't there two seconds ago. That little ASC. It's alive. There's another ASC right there. Weird. Okay, let me see what this one says real quick first though. Whoa. Zombies. Today. Today we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tombo facility have opened our eyes to the truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends, colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their life for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we could never sustain. We used to call it home, our pale blue dot. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. Okay. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest, the smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to lead and risk greatness. Those people are whispering to each other. Discovery. Oh, must have been. Like our ancestors that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity, and it dawns today. Hmm. So what I gathered from that was crazy boy William, like I said before, wants to take all these people and go outward. He said it again, but this time it wasn't capitalized, meaning he literally wants to go out. Rosa up there, old girl Rosa in her office obviously doesn't agree with him and didn't agree with the speech. Hmm. Again, what I mean, why does he think that I know the planet has finite resources when it came to the moon, but we still need to get to the meat and potatoes of why he wants to leave where outward or what outward really is. Go up here and listen to this one real quick. It's uh, other ASC. Yeah, this one. What was that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we He's don't Irish. have shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor? It's supposed to power. Of course I do. It's just a, just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. Blind followership. I was gonna get you killed, man. Don't you ever seen a movie before? I like that Irish guy or whatever he is. He's he's speaking from the heart, from the mind. All right, let's get on this bad boy and take it over to Tomba. I gotta drive like a I'm a driver of a of a rover. I'm a conductor of this train here. Got all sorts of jobs. All right, Roly Poly, let's go. Remember me. Make your way through Copernicus Moo Hub's lingering echoes. This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. 
I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. Battery. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. Told you they're evil. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1, to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Will do. Alex, end recording. Will do. So who played that? Like, did I just get in this car and she had it already loaded up? This train? I don't know. I hope she's still alive. That's Sarah, right? I hope we find her. But this is five years. I think she's still alive after five years? Objective. Investigate why the monorail has stopped. Oh, because I was going to Tombo when we stopped at the first station. Okay. All right. And with that, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Episode five. We finally made our way out of the Copernicus Mood Hub, and we're on our way to figuring out more of this story. Is Sarah alive? We don't know. What's William's deal? Why is he a tea bag? You know what I mean? Like, interesting stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Do what you got to do. Uh, until next time, stay safe, have fun. Game on.